Hello everyone, this is Bata Kaliya watching my channel. So today I will talk about the Linen Laundry Part 2. So Linen Laundry Part 1 I have already uploaded on my channel. So you can check out the link which is given on the top portion of the video. You can click on that link and check out the Linen Laundry Part 1. Before moving on to this presentation, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Also, you can follow my Instagram account, it's a healthcare for you forever. So let's get started with this particular presentation. Life of the linen. So what is basically the life of the linen? So life of the linen is extensively used in most of the patient care areas, especially in the OT and in patient wards. Therefore, it is imperative that IK measures must be taken to ensure that linen has a fairly effective life cycle. So some precautionary measures have to be taken to maintain or sustain the life of the linen. Talking about the factors, now there are various factors that determine the lifespan of the linen. Then availability of the number of sets of the linen. So more the number of sets of the linen, more will the lifespan, less of the number of sets of linen, uh, then lesser will the lifespan. Type of laundry system under operation in hospital and in plant system manage a longer lifespan. Type of detergent being used for washing purposes and effectiveness of the linen control committee. Feeding 20% of the linen becomes unusable after a period of three months. Linen mending wash should be carried out within the premises in the laundry. Linen control program. The main objective of any control system is to verify whether everything in an organization setup is moving as per the adopted plan, whether instructions issued are followed or not. It is the manual's duty to study this and find out the faults and errors to rectify them and prevent reoccurrence. The following steps are suggested. Clean linen must be available in adequate quantity from time of the purchase and condemnation. Linen continuity must be maintained with the help of records. Accurate cost of linen usage and replacement must be known to the managers. A good linen control program must always ensure that linen service provided to the hospital is referring at the lowest possible cost. The linen is active for the use of standard quality. Right linen is in the right place at the right time. The misuse of the linen is as low as possible. The linen control program is functioning at all times. Now comes the linen control committee, basically, which helps in, you know, uh, helping to maintain, sustain, and, you know, drive the linen control program. So all of those involved in selecting, purchasing, using, and handling of the linen must be represented in this company uh, from the store, laundry, and management. Linen control program, one of the members of the linen control committee must be selected as in charge of the linen control program. He may be given the title of the officer in charge of the linen services. Officer in charge of the linen services must have full authority over the linen control program and must be backed by the linen committee. Okay. Then comes the function of the linen control committee functions to study each phase of the linen laundry service, formation of written policy for the linen control program, outlining the duties, functions, and responsibilities of all persons and departments of the laundry and linen service, review of the situation from time to time. Then comes the linen purchase. So we have to keep some of the points in mind before uh, doing the linen passage. Okay, linen pur purchase. So, obtain samples and test for quality and strength by rubbing the material between hands and noting the amount of dress, dressing that is starched. Too much of it denotes poor quality material. Looking around a magnifying glass to note the closeness and evenness of the material. Noting the firmness and finish of the machining, especially at the corners. Sending a sample of the material to the laundry to be washed a given number of times and comparing with the once washed sample to get an idea of the bearing quality. By the best quality for the purpose by as large a quantity as possible at one time to avail of bulk discounts large orders may be given and delivery staggered this makes uh, buying cheaper provided linen is stored correctly well wrapped and dried to prevent it from deteriorating buy from an approved firm so that any complaints may be dealt with place orders in time so that exact ones can be made particularly regarding the size of the markings Okay, so let's move on to the next slide to talk about the centralized system of the linen purchase. So centralized control of linen laundry service generally ensures better control over the laundry workers and the other employees directly involved with the linen supply service. Many of the USA hospitals have got a single manager for laundry and linen service and it was found that in these hospitals the work of linen supply is more efficient and there is less loss in comparison to those hospitals where separate control, separate people control these departments. So how security of the linen can be done? So ensure proper locking of the storeroom and restriction of the number of persons having access to them. Proper sealing of containers, bags during the transit of linen from one area to another. A full post system of receipt at each stage. Okay. 
then responsibility fixation of staff holding the charge of linen in different area regular physical verification to pinpoint the extent and type of loss with the proper preventive action by administration frequent and adequate condemnation of linen articles proper maintenance of all records proper security and even on the exit of hospital area and reduction of access to a minimum level so this was all about the linen purchase and uh, linen control committee and linen control program I hope you really like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And also, I'll come up with the linen laundry part three. So stay tuned and stay safe and healthy. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.